in New York City, a new wing of the American Museum of Natural History officially opened to the public in early May, with a futuristic design, ultra-modern galleries, an interactive pavilion, and a huge library with rare showpieces. Some 4 million artifacts and specimens will find a home there, with some going on display for the first time. The wing, called the Richard Gilder Center for Science, Education and Innovation, cost $465 million to complete. This building not only adds space to the museum, but it improves the circulation and flow with the existing campus, uh, providing uh, easier mechanisms to, to navigate around the, uh, the exhibitions in the existing campus with the exhibitions in the new building. The Gilder Center connects the other 10 museum wings that take up about four city blocks in all. Project architect Jeannie Gang says the building's interior is intended to remind visitors of canyons and caves. The idea behind the design was to illustrate how things are interconnected in nature and how one part of it inspires all the others. When I first started to design it, I was really thinking about what kind of landscape makes you curious, makes you want to explore. And you think of all the old adventurers going out into canyons and discovering geological formations. So um, I really studied those to see what was about them that makes you curious. One of the collections in the new wing is dedicated to insects. An insectarium features a monumental model of a beehive and a live colony of tropical leaf-cutting ants that visitors can watch behind glass. The museum also has its own butterfly vivarium with a humid tropical climate that houses 80 butterfly species. One of the top floors of the museum is dedicated to sea animals, and another has special labs where visitors can watch museum staff work with specimens. On the wing's fourth floor is a large library with a collection of rare books and visitors can spend some quiet time in the reading room. It's a monumental investment in the importance of learning and teaching others about our natural world. For Yevgeny Maslov in New York, NRI's VOE News.